It is the 9th, 10th of January, something like that. Uh, yeah, non-stop busy here as usual. I've had one person come and help me, which is which is sick, my friend Gaz. Um, so if he ever watches this, thank you mate, I really appreciate it. Uh, I've managed to do quite a lot over the last few weeks. The fencing is nearly done. I've got to tighten and strain the rest of it properly. I've picked up another, <laughs> a bloody another 50 meter roll, uh, because at the top of the field, um, up there, I'm short that distance. And then I also need the fence for the, for the new road. So as you can see, I've got wood chip everywhere. I hired a wood chipper for a week. I got it put in the back of the pickup. It was a nightmare to take it off the pickup. Um, it'll be interesting to see how I managed to put it back on the pickup. So Gaz was here yesterday with me helping wood chip this massive pile. Them and the whips and things like that, all these bits at the top, they just will not go through. Uh, but there's the car crash. We've got to that. <laughs> we found the license plate and all the bumper, bit of door and stuff like that are in there. Screen wash tank. So the wood chip is keeping all the carbon locked and it's also forming part of, uh, well, the entrance and trackway really. Getting rid of some of this mud and the dampness. There is the 10 foot softwood gate, which I'm going to measure up over there in a second. Just need to figure out how to take it off. We're all solid in, so I need to strain this section of fence from that post to just there. Right, let's take this off. Wish me luck. Cabelos, cor de mel singela Seu nome é Mabel É uma menina cheia de vida Se vamos para a praia Não esquece a sandália Considering I eyeballed that, I'm gonna put the fence in. This is the last piece of video and fence that you saw. So I, I was originally gonna hook it to that gate because the hedgerow is gonna be there, but hedgerow is also gonna be here too. Excuse me. And this is the strongest post. Even though, yeah, the stay's not on it. This one's been concreted in. So I'm hinging this side. That's. I'm really happy with that. I'll either fit it later today or at another point. Yay! So this was the problem strainer in the corner. Everything was before that one was concreted in. Uh, this problem child, and it still is, even though this is all tight now, that's hella messy though this just kept going whoop it's the only way it could go even got a foot buried underground to stop the spin and try and anchor it in but it wasn't enough and it kept shooting out uh i found this giant lump buried in the entranceway and i've just managed to place it on there and that's uh, held everything in because of the instability of this one I put in another strainer and a very lovely stay. 
and that's done and doing all of this fence up here which goes to the mid of the field for what I told I'd do for my neighbour to help them in the future for hay. I'm taking the metal gate from the driveway and that is going in there. I've got all the trees in at the moment because my neighbour's son sheep love this field for some reason and keep only coming in here. That one just needs, that fence needs tightening up a tiny bit but that's pretty much good to go and then I just need to staple every post and this was a nightmare to do. Put it on the outside of the post for most of it because obviously next door will have more sheep than I ever will. And I've said in the past I wanted to try and keep as much as possible with the trees so I've just cleared and cut a path for me to get under enough for me to have the post hammer as the next day of that fence and then the second part of the fence will also attach to that so I need to fit one stay there and one stay here see most logical people would have happily just whomp, sheared this completely off all the way down but it's such a nice shelter and when it starts going 30 to 40 degrees in the summer times again and even the prevailing winds coming in from this way these help so so much I don't know when I'll get around to this, the rain's coming back in heavily tomorrow it's freezing today and very windy I did finally bring my microphones with me but I've left them in the truck so I need to put a stay in here and that way this one's all set and done she ain't going nowhere and then yeah, the, uh, the fence ran out just here at this next post, <laughs> so I had to buy the whole new roll. So that's what I've been doing since my last video. A hell of a lot of chainsawing, tons of wood chipping. I got, well, I've technically got five days with this wood chipper, but because of that loading it into the pickup truck, nightmare, I'm giving it back at least two days early. So I'm going to load that up now and get to work and I'll either come back later on or well too rainy tomorrow Wednesday probably come and fit this 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 gate here and then I don't have to worry about my neighbour's sheep coming in the field and I've had to do all the fencing all by myself and all by hand it's been a tough amount of work but I'm really really proud of it that'll be super cool that fence when it's when it's up a little simple latch and out you go sick i'm leaving this pile here for now when i've done with this wood chip what i'm gonna do that pile from the car crash and the trees i'm just gonna move it into the very corner of the field down here they're gonna go here even though i don't like that i don't want that it just means i can get all the access and the front fence clear so i can work safely and properly especially with all the cars going past i'm not going to need this patch of land for a long long time so I'll, I'll pile it here then slowly go through it. If I need to get some people in with the team to bring a professional size shredder and chipper in, then that's what I'm gonna have to do later on. But for now, I'm gonna have to move piles to another pile, but just so it's, it's clear at the front. As you can see, I've got limestone on the little bridge now. I have driven across it in the truck a few times and it managed to survive, which is really cool. It'll need upgrading a new pipe put in in the future because the old original pipe is yeah literally about that wide and it cannot handle 21st century climate change water flow at all well there we go wood chip time Right, you lovely lot. I've got a microphone on finally, so I hope you can hear me well. This is where you go, no, he's got sniffles. Turn the microphone off. So that's about an hour of more wood chip. It's pretty frustrating because it's all tangled and nothing's, nothing's straight at all. So you've got a chainsaw, you've got an ax, 
and cut all the bits and bobs off. I'll have to get one in the future. Um, I know I've hired it for the week, but the weather's really bad. I'm still not right health-wise. It is what it is. I'll load this up and dump it over there later on. I want to go and cut this new fence roll so I can at least not, not fit it properly, but pin it to the top of the field and then maybe pin some over there. I've run out of posts and I need more posts for the road, so that's another, another thing too. Right, what do I need? Gloves, you can stay there. Tape measures there. It's 26 meters at the top of the field. Has 56 meter, uh, 50 meter roll, so that works out well. It's just over 25 at the top, just, but you know, the extra to wrap around the strainer posts. Right, um, I don't know what to do with this. I guess I'll, I'll leave you here. Sorry again about the sniffles. I've got a microphone on, so you should be able to hear me even when I go really, really far away. I'll do a video soon about the chainsaw I've been using because it has been invaluable here. It's an absolute beast. Right, where are you? So all I'm doing at the moment is pulling the roll apart. They bend the tiny little bits of end back into the wire roll itself. And then I'll just snip off the ends. If you can see them. Come on. Yoosh. Need to make sure I get all these little bits and pick them up. Don't want myself, friends or family or any animals hurting themselves. Re I'll weigh this end down. I've basically, I'm going to roll it all the way out. Stop you flying around. I'm going to roll it all the way out. Measure 26 metres. <laughs> I'm shouting. See if you can hear me again. I'm going to measure 26 metres, cut that, take it to the top of the field and just lightly pin that one in after cutting the excess off up there and then see if it's possible of any kind for me to do the road fence. Highly unlikely, but at least I know it's cut then. Drop a comment. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share with all your friends and family. Nearly there. If you've never worked with this before, when you get towards the end of the roll, the fence uncoils itself. So if you ever got your hands inside it, which I stupidly have twice, once here, once in summer. Oh my God, feels like your finger's about to get amputated. So be very, very careful. You know what I didn't do? I didn't bring anything this side to stop the wire coiling back on itself. Fucking idiot, idiot. Can you see me yet? Am I in shame yet? I'm nearly there. I'm going to turn you off. I'm only getting the tape measure out and then cutting a wire. I'll take you back up there with me. Sick. Yeah, I'll do that. I lied. I'm going to make you watch me cut it. Because why not? If you're watching this far, then you're definitely into boring stuff. I'm joking. Because <laughs> that means I'm boring too. Uh, sit you down there nice, the wind's probably going to blow you over. Oishka! Ben, if you're watching this, I need your help, my friend. Here comes the crescendo! Woo! And uh, we got the wire rolling down there, he's going to win, we got the- Oh no! My big wire's fucked! That one quite successful. <laughs> oh, I'm an idiot. That, ladies and gentlemen, is how you deform a brand new roll of wire. Silly me. <laughs> that was fun though, right? I enjoyed it. Right, I'm gonna bundle this long piece up, the 26 meter, and we'll go up there. Well, to you, that was just a second. For me, that was 20 minutes. That was hard work. <laughs> I'm just uh, stapling, oh, my screen's gone on the other side. I had a warning saying low temperature environment, so the batteries are about to go go. I can't see from looking behind this way, so I'm just putting a staple in for there for now. I'm going to staple in one end here, and then take it all the way up and just staple it to the strainer in my neighbour's field, which isn't attached to the ground anymore because it's rotten. <laughs> Top tip, don't ever wear a down jacket even if it's an old one to even gently lift fencing. I am shredded, gutted. 
Ladies and gentlemen, behold my stuff. <laughs> my gently placed fence with a gaping sheep sized hole underneath that section. I'll put some wood there to fill it for now. There we go. Oh, if you're wondering why the sound has changed, uh, one section of the microphone died and the other fell off into the little stream, so I'm gonna have to dry it out. Yay! So three of the pieces I need to strain are just on this section from the gate to in the trees, and then the trees to the corner, and then that corner to that corner. The other little section is the part that I said earlier on, down um, at the entrance, just over the stream. It's gutting that it's torrential rain tomorrow because uh, if you could feel the air, smell the air, right now it's stunning. Absolutely love it. We're littered with uh, Bronze Age and Iron Age hill forts around here. I looked on uh, one of the Welsh Government's websites last night for archaeology, so I'm obsessed with that stuff. And apparently, during World War II, I think it's called a vampire plane, uh, it crashed. The site's not officially known or never been officially declared, but it's just in this top field. According to the Ministry of Defence on the documents, no one is allowed to go anywhere near remains if they find it or go searching and digging for them. It'd be interesting if it turns out to be in this field, eh? Because I do have a metal detector. I haven't done it in months, but I usually uh, go in some of the fields during the summer times. Just tidy up this. I'll hold in the corner and I'll put back on to the bottom. See ya.